Hi, I'm Isabel. I'm new here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my bed. This very intimate setting is uh, because of Feng Shui. Let me explain. I've been trying to film this intro for the past... It's embarrassing. And I just can't do it. I don't know why. But I'm like, I'm gonna try my bed. I feel like it's working. I feel good here. My arm is a bit, you know. <laughs> hey. Other than that, I feel like I want to confide in you today. I feel like talking to you. Anyways, all this to tell you that you and I, we're gonna be sewing together because uh, um, I got this project of sewing my capsule wardrobe. So uh, today is the kickstart day and we're gonna sew the first piece of it. Yeah, I wanna show you quickly what's this first piece. I'm getting very excited. Let me show you what I got in mind. We're gonna start with this first picture. Okay, three, two, one. Boom, we're there. This first picture, we got Willow Smith. What is she wearing? Apart from shoes and a miniskirt. Turtleneck. Next picture, reformation. Turtleneck. Moving on. Alexander Wing. Turtleneck. Turtleneck again. Ha. Hey, Titi. Turtleneck. Mini dress and turtleneck. Turtleneck. Dress. Turtleneck. Beauty incarnated inside a turtleneck. Okay, stop the recording here. Now I'm gonna go for a little quiz. Have you noticed anything in common between all these pictures that I showed you? You guessed it right! A turtleneck! So we're gonna be sewing a turtleneck today. Gosh. We're gonna be sewing a turtleneck in jersey fabric, very stretchy material. And there's gonna be a leotard part involved. Let's get started, yeah? Oh, we. Oui. So we are starting with cutting the fabric. Not exactly my favorite step in the whole sewing process, but yeah. So we've done the back, doing the front, the sleeves, front crotch, back crotch, the neck, and don't forget the notches. Lay the back and front pieces right sides together and pin at shoulder area. Pin, pin, and sew. Okay, second shoulder now. Done. All right, moving on to the sleeves. Pin the sleeve on the front and back pieces now connected at shoulder area, right sides together and so I'm letting you do the other sleeve on your own and we're moving on to the side the side seam is going from the hip to the wrist you want to pin 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 and we sew by the way the fabric I'm using is some sort of a stretchy viscose knit we now sew the other side and done. Okay, fold the neck, pin and sew. Fold the neck bend in half and insert it into the head hole and pin it according to the notches. The neck of the turtleneck is done, guys. So we're now doing the crotch parts. From what I understood, there is some sort of discomfort for English speakers to use the word crotch, uh, which apparently is a bit the same that's around the word moist. And you know what? I don't get it, because isn't the word moist the most fantastic word in the whole English, like, dictionary? So to try and get over this discomfort, I suggest that we all together pronounce the word moist in unison with a smile in the voice. Moist, 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 moist. You're welcome. So what I'm doing here is I'm trying to prevent the thread from unraveling by basically inserting it back into the seam instead of trimming it. 
Here comes your favorite word again. We're turning the crotch parts upside down. Next, we are pinning the hem along the edges of the leg holes. I planned for a 0.5 cm seam allowance. So as you can see, I've swapped my overlocker for a regular sewing machine on which I've set up a pair of twin needles. If you're not familiar with twin needles, I'm not either. Well, I am now, okay, but it was my first time using them. And here's the result. We can now do the sleeves hem, which I already pinned here, and we sew still using the twin needles. And here's what it looks like. So we are now going to add the snap fasteners at the crotch area. You want to use some sort of tape that you're going to sew onto the crotch and on which you're going to sew the snap fasteners. So I'm using some cotton twill tape, but you can use any kind of non-stretchy tape or ribbon. You can even be satin if you like, anything really. Apologies for the baby hair hiding the view. I didn't see that they were so vaporous. Oh yeah, and I am not using the twin needles anymore. I set up a jersey needle. So we're done sewing the tape at the tip of the crotch parts. So the front part is closing on top of the back part. We are now sewing the snap fasteners by hand, the male parts in the back, and the female parts in the front. Alright, let us snap these buttons. Snap. Whoops. Snap. Snap. And let's have a look at the result, shall we? We're done. I've decided I was gonna treat myself. <laughs> because I work for this project and when you work hard, you need to treat yourself afterwards. And even when you don't work that hard, I think you need to treat yourself. I'm gonna take this back. I don't know what's the rule for treating yourself. Here's the first one. So this is the one coming from Monoprix. And this one, ooh, this one's coming from a bakery. This was three euros 30 and this was 2.50. So I'm gonna start with the cheaper one. Okay, the dough is like, it's soft. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the pattern for free so you can sew it for yourself if you like. It's just gonna come in one size, which is mine because that's the only size for which I made the pattern. So that's the first thing I wanted to tell you and Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah, this is better. I think it is better, but now I'm biased because I know the price. So, um, second, um, I have to tell you. I want to eat you! Okay. And... Goodbye.